Hey everyone, welcome to another video on my channel sponsored by Delta.Exchange and today in this video we are going to backtest super trend strategy on BTC using Python. So do you think this strategy is really going to work in the longer run? So let us find out. So today what I will be doing is providing the entire code to you and also the complete data set available on Delta. We have downloaded 30 minute data, we have downloaded 4 hour data, we have downloaded 1 day data and 1 week data. So we have all the data sets which I have attached down in the description below plus I have also attached the entire code which you can simply copy paste. So once that is done, in this video I will be taking you through a walkthrough of how exactly you can use this code, how you can end up backtesting the entire super trend strategy using Python. And also you might have another question why exactly we are running this on BTC and not on NSE. The reason for that is the data on Bitcoin or data on cryptos is available free of cost on Delta.Exchange. So in case if you don't have an account, you can simply open one. They are going to provide all the options data, spot data, futures data, minute by minute or 5 minutes once, 30 minutes once, everything free of cost, which is going to help us a lot in creating strategies and backtesting them. So that's the reason we are testing this entire thing on BTC and slowly we'll also learn how to automate all these strategies. Now let us quickly move on to the video and see if super trend strategy is really going to work on BTC or not. So if you are finding the content valuable, hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Hey everyone, welcome to another screen recording and today in this video we are going to backtest a super trend strategy on Python and see if it is going to work. So right over here I have opened the Bitcoin chart on trading view and for the entire backtesting, we are going to use the data by Delta Exchange. So in case if you don't have an account, you can simply open an account and also get really exciting offers. So the data to get from Delta Exchange is absolutely free. So hence it is going to be easy for us to backtest. So now if you take a look at this chart, so this is a Bitcoin chart and I have added the super trend indicator. So super trend indicator works in a very simple way. So let's just come right over here. So as we can see, uh, so we are going to buy whenever the super trend signal turns into green. So that means upon this candle closing, so right over here, so you can see upon the 18th September candle closing, so this super trend would have actually turned into green. So we are going to buy on this day and try to ride the whole move and whenever the super trend inverts, so that is whenever the green is becoming into red so we are going to close our long position and initiate a new short position so that means whenever this entire move is done so upon the closing of 22nd december candle so we are going to close our long position and initiate a new short position so this way again at this candle close we are going to close our short position and initiate a new long position. So again upon this candle close where the super trend has inverted. So we are going to close our longs and initiate a new shot. So you might have now understood the concept of how exactly we are going to test out super trend. And what we are going to do is we are going to test out super trend upon multiple time frames. So we are going to test it out on 5 minutes, we are going to test it out on daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart. So once we have back tested all the data, so we are going to see if it is worth running this super trend strategy on Bitcoin or not. We have already done two videos in the series and in case if you haven't watched them, so I would recommend you to watch it. So if you are watching this video for the first time, then you can simply install Python on your system. Then I am also going to recommend you to install certain packages which you can do. So in case if you have no idea about how to install Python and the packages, so again I would request you to watch the first video and come back to this video. So in this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be sharing you all the different time frame files. So you can see, so I have Bitcoin one day data, one Bitcoin one week data, Bitcoin four hour data and Bitcoin 30 minute data. So I am going to attach the link for all these files down in the description. So make sure you go there and you end up downloading the files. So once you have all the files, so then you can simply go to CMD. So type in CMD right over here and then we are going to open our Jupyter Notebook. So I'm just going to type Jupyter Notebook. 
So I have told about all of this in the first video. So in case if you haven't watched, so I have explained in detail how to install Python and how to install Jupyter Notebook. So I would request you to watch that and come back to this video. So now we have actually opened our Jupyter Notebook from the particular folder. And now you can see I have access to all the four data set. That is a four hour data set, one week data set, one day and 30 minute data set. So along with that, so the, I also have a code for Supertrend, which I'm going to share it with you. So the initial idea was to teach you code the entire thing, but it is quite complicated to be honest. And that's the reason I just want to share it with you as it is. So I'm going to explain in detail what each line of the code is going to do. And you are going to get a good idea of what exactly we are doing. So here I have added a simple readme file and it says it is a super trend strategy. So whenever there is a buy signal, so you are going to buy and whenever there is a sell signal, you are going to close your buy and double short. So double short means first you are going to neutralize and then create a net sell position. So this is something which I have already told. So then these two packages are necessary that is pandas and numpy. So once you have installed them next, so here there is something called as the file name. So in the file name, I have added BTC USD underscore one week. So you can see that we have different files right over here. So I have added the one week file and then I am going to read the file. So once I run the code, so I am now going to get the data of the entire week. So this is something which we already have as a CSV file stored. Next, what we are going to do is this entire line of code is actually the code for super trend. So I will give you an idea of what exactly I have done. So it is going to be easier for you. So here the calculation of super trend actually differs from one website to another. So what we have essentially done here is use the same pine script code. So you can see you can open a pine script code of trading view and I have used the help of AI or chat GPT to give me this whole thing in Python. So before we move on, I would also like to tell you about the learning path. We have just completed the first batch and in this we are going to learn systematic way of trading equity and option. So we are only going to take five people per batch and it is going to be a very personalized learning. So it is not going to be a group. We will be trying to understand you as a person, what kind of risk to reward you want to take and personalizing strategies for you. So in case if you are interested, do visit quickalpha.in and check out our services. You might have a question, why exactly I'm using the Pine script code of TradingView for Supertrend? And the answer for that is TradingView uses something called as the Wilder ATR versus the actual ATRs used in Supertrend. But I just want to go ahead with whatever TradingView uses because it becomes easier to track. Here I will just end up running this code and you can see that the super trend value has been calculated for the entire 62 rows of data or 62 weeks. As I run this line of code, so you can also see there is a hashtag followed by what exactly this is doing. So this is basically a comment in Python and it is going to give you an idea of what exactly is happening. And this line of code is detecting the change in the entire trend. So that is whenever super trend is flipping from positive to negative. So this is going to make a record and you can see the detected flips at indices 0, 1 and 2. So this is where the flips have actually happened. But uh, here what actually will end up happening is we have very little flips. So hardly two flips is what we have. So we won't be able to get a very broad range of data or P and L. So for which first let's start with something like uh, let's see what are the files we have. We have a 4 hour file. So I'll start with Bitcoin 4 hour file. So I'll run the same code. So here now you can see we have nearly 2600 rows. And when I end up running this file, so we have multiple times when the data has actually flipped or when the super trend has actually flipped. Once that is done, let us export the file to CSV. And then finally comes the turn to calculate the P and L. So this last bit of code is essentially going to calculate the P and L for us. And let's end up running this code. And once this code is run, so we are now going to export even the 
PNL file to CSV. So the PNL has been uh, calculated right over here and we have exported this entire file to CSV. So when you actually go back to your initial directory where you have saved all your files, so you can see that there are two new files which have been added. So the first one is the super trend strategy file. So I will end up opening this file. So this will be stored in the form of CSV, which is going to show you how many times the flip has actually happened. So while this is going to be one file which is stored, so the other file is going to give us the result of our total PNL. So every time the trade has been taken, so you can see what has been the total PNL right over here. So when you take a look at it, so the total PNL from the very beginning has been nearly 5000 points. This is from the period of 10 January 2024. That is when the first flip happened. But I think the data in Delta is from December of 2023. So when you take a look at this and try to calculate this, so you see that this four hour super trend strategy is not really worth running because it has given you a total of only 5000 points with the maximum profit, which has only come once of 20,000 points, I think. And that has come during the Trump election, if I'm not wrong. So uh, somewhere it should be right over here. So this is during the Trump election. When Trump became the president, you can see we have got 20,000 points in a single trade. So this you can see is a four hour data. Now I'll just show you how you can run it on all the other set of data. Just go back to your initial file. So here all you have to do is change the file name and to change the file name, you can see which time frame you want. Let us say it's a 30 minute time frame, what you're looking at. So I'll just change it to 30 minute. And once that is done, so instead of running the code line by line, what I would suggest you to do is simply click on this button. So it is going to restart the entire code and end it till the run. So you don't have to go line by line. So just click on restart. And once the code is finished running, so you're going to also get us sound. So you will get to know here once the code is finished running. So all the nine files have been executed. So once I go back to the directory file again, so we also have the 30 minute result. So for this, I will end up opening the result tab directly. So let us wait for it to open. So once the result tab has opened, now you can see on a 30 minute time frame, there are so many flips which have actually happened in the last one year. So you can see overall, you would have taken nearly 469 trades in the last one year. But unfortunately for us, this entire super trend strategy actually has become a loss making strategy on a 30 minute time frame. So the maximum profit that you have got from here is uh, nearly 8,700 points and the maximum loss is nearly 3000 points. But all in all, after taking nearly 469 trades, you have entered with a negative of 16,000 points. So which clearly shows that maybe this hasn't worked out the way it should have. So the results for super trend strategy on Bitcoin, unfortunately is not very convincing, but for you, this is going to be a great learning because you can now just change the time frame and execute the strategy of your choice. So in the first two videos, I have already shown how to store data of different time frames. So what you can do is store the data of even three minute time frame, one minute time frame, five minute time frame. So I will also be attaching these files of 30 minute, four hour, one day and one week down in the description below. So don't forget to download that. And then I will also be attaching this Python file, which you can directly import and run this entire file and get the results directly. So you can simply uh, replace the file name here. So if you want a 4R one, just change it to 4R and try running the entire code and you are going to get the results yourself. This way you can also end up backtesting the strategy. So let me just give you a quick walkthrough of what exactly happens in a code. It is going to be a short summary. Here we are selecting the file on which we want to run the super trend strategy. So this is the code for the super trend strategy. So once we finish running this code, next comes the 
point where we actually try to measure the flips how many times the super trend has flipped so once we understand that next what we are going to do is calculate the total p and l at each entry of the flip and finally we are going to import the whole thing to csv so this is how it is going to work now anyways we have come till here let's quickly see for one day and see if that strategy is worth running so i'm going to rerun the whole code so at least for now we know that 30 minute has been a loss making one and uh, four hours has been profitable but not to an extent where you would want to run it regularly now let's see the results for one day strategy and see if this would make any sense to run so the number of flips have been quite low hardly around 16 17 trades you would have got for the entire year but unfortunately this has turned out to be even big disaster so a total of negative 31000 points uh, is what the results have been and this is honestly not a great strategy so i would feel maybe you can do the inverse of this and get a better result rather than trying to do this overall in my opinion i feel it's not been a great thing running super trend on bitcoin so it fails on multiple time frames like 30 minutes four hours one day and so on what next what we can do next is maybe try to modify the strategy a little and see if we can work with different parameters or altogether try a different strategy so i want you to test this out yourself learn how to use this because in the next video i will either be giving you a modified version which can work a slightly better way or i will be giving you a whole new strategy where we can try to see how we can deploy it with this we also come to the end of this video i hope you have found this video informative in that case make sure you hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for joining guys and see you soon again in the next video